So today I went to the grand opening of the Where You Been store. Basically it's an Amazon returns or other return store where you can go in and buy things for a set price and today was the first day that they were open. Now in the same location, we used to have another store called Crazy Cas Boys. And Crazy Cas Boys was pretty good for a while. They started at $7, then they raised their price to $8 for the Fridays, and things went progressively less throughout the week. It started off amazingly, but Crazy Cas Boys soon turned into a crap show. Items, where it was basically just broken down items, all thrown in the bottom, nothing good, nothing really of any value. It was a mess. Wood finally closed down a few months ago and this new store just opened today. But their price is quite expensive as compared to the other bin stores. Where You Bin starts at $14 on Friday. So you know me, I'm super cheap, so I was a little leery about going there, but I thought it's a grand opening, let's give it a try. Now they have some interesting rules here that they posted before you go there, which is you can't bring any purses, any strollers, any backpacks, anything like that. It's to prevent theft, they just don't want to have to deal with that and I understand that. The other thing is, they did not want you to line up before 7 a.m. When I got there at 6.30, they were lined up around the building. <laughs> My daughter and I went and we thought about going and getting a line, but we decided to stick with the rules, which was stay in your car until an employee comes out. When the employee did come out at about 7.15, they told everyone to get off the sidewalks. They had to go back into the parking lot which made a lot of people unhappy because there were people there for hours already trying to be first in line. So they did something interesting. At about 7.30, they started counting off one, two, three, and four, and they made four lines. So whatever number you got, you went and stood in your line. I was in number four and my daughter Emma was in line two. Next time we know that we need to get in the same line and either get in or not get in together. And I'll explain that in a minute. So right at eight o'clock, they came out with a little envelope and they stuck their hand in and pulled out number three. I was not in three. So I got to watch about 200 people walk in the store before me. And that was a little sad, to be honest. They let every person, even the people in the very, very back of the line, go in from that line. And then they drew again. And luckily for me, the next number was number four. So I got to go in pretty quickly. Now this store is a little bit different than like Crazy Cas Boys in that they have a lot of big products on the outside in big boxes. I think the best thing for me was the fact that they had lots of boxes that had nothing written on them at all. You would have no idea what it is. It's kind of like a treasure, but you're not allowed to open the boxes. That's one of their rules. So you have to take mystery boxes over to the box opening station and they will open it for you. And then you decide whether you want what is inside the box or not. Some of the items I was super excited to get and then other things I got were like hair extensions that I was like, that's what I picked up? Okay, pass on that one. Now I did find a lot of items that I would really like to pick up, but not for a $14 price tag. I did luckily walk out of there with 10 items that I paid $14 for. Now a few of the items are iffy, but I think I hit a few home runs too. First we got this Rowenta, it's an indoor outdoor fan. Now I've sold Rowenta products before, but I've never seen a fan like this. But I looked up the comps and it looked pretty good and we opened it and all the parts were there. This is something that I didn't know what it was, but on the box, it said it was an inverter plasma cutter. I didn't know what that was, but it looked like something for welding. So I thought, well, we'll go ahead and take a chance on it. And I love all these plain boxes. This is an Am Chef, and look, it is a double induction cooktop. It was new in the box. We opened it up, it looked great. And someone got tired of the line and so they abandoned their cart. And I went over after I watched them walk out the door and found this. I was surprised they were selling it, but I think it's an air gun or a BB gun, but it has pretty good comps, so we went with it. This, I was super happy. Well, you see what I see, right? Dell. So when I took it over to the opening station, I found the keyboard in this box. 
the mouse and all the cords and lo and behold, there it is. It's a desktop computer. Nice find for $14. Now this is something that I didn't think was like super high value, though the chairs do sell for like 40 bucks a piece and there's two of them in there. But I thought it was pretty cool to have a chair that is this size. You can literally take it with you. And it's great for us or for camping or for my kids or whatever. So I thought that was a good find at $7 a chair. This was definitely not a home run. And if it wasn't opening day, I probably would not have picked this. But it is an R8 deep tissue massage roller. Looks kind of cool and I guess, I don't know, I had a weakness today for buying stuff. Now I did pick this up. Somebody had put it down. I was super surprised. It's an Eris surfboard modem. I checked out the price and look at these comps. And this one here surprised me a lot. It is a Hornbill smart lock. I didn't think this was really anything until someone came up to me and said, I've been looking for that. But the item that was most surprising and the, my favorite kind of things to pick up was this box right here. And it said, this was actually a box someone else had already opened at the box opening station. And this was my favorite question mark. <laughs> that means after they opened it, they had no idea what it was but it says uh, electronic equipment. So I looked it up and this Wob Tech is a railway electronics thing. So I looked and it's two pieces. This one is a radio, digital radio module. And then this one is a, some kind of power supply system. I have a feeling these are gonna be the top winners of the day. But the worst part of it, guys, was that my daughter never made it into the store. She was in line two, and lines one and line two didn't get to come in when the rest of us did. They had to wait till someone left, and one by one, they got to come into the store from their line. It was terrible. About two and a half hours after I got there, I was leaving and my daughter had given up and went and sat in the car, never even made it into the store. So I really hope that they do something about that because I think what was the problem is they really were lacking carts. So all in all, I think I did pretty good. Like I said, $14 an item, a little bit steep for me but each of the items I think has really great profit potential, even though it's not my typical 10 times my dollar amount that I like to get on all of those products, I think there's enough meat on the bones to make it worthwhile my time. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be standing there every single Friday to go do that, but I have to say it was pretty fun for me to go today, but I am gonna go back on at least dollar day and maybe 25 cent day and see what we can find. The great thing about being a reseller is I'm not looking for anything in particular, I'm just looking for anything that might be interesting to someone else. And I have a feeling that they're gonna have a whole lot of things left on dollar day. I hope so anyways. But I will have a video for those as well so you can see what opening week is like at a new store. So it's kind of fun to have a store where you can just go and explore and you never know what you're going to find. I better get listing these. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.